Hey everybody, greetings from Louisville. Before I left on my road trip, I stopped at my sister's and took a look at her annual containers and pots. And I wanted to show you exactly how hers did. Now she said they were starting to wind down by the time I got there, that was on September 15th. Uh, she said up until the end of August, everything was really in its prime. But now uh, she said uh, they still look pretty good, kind of the way that I had seen them. But I wanted to show those to you because I wanted to give you a chance to see uh, what some of those annuals look like right now at this time of the year. Might give you some ideas of what you want to plant in your uh, containers and in your yard next year. I'm here at my sister's and she is the queen of low maintenance containers. So everything that you see here gets very little attention. So this one here, the white flower that you see, that is the itsy white petunia. And she had a pretty serious earwig problem. So a lot of her petunias had lost their blooms, but you can see she was able to use some Sluggo Plus on that, get rid of the earwigs and the plants all recovered. There's also some red sun patients. This salvia here is the Sally Fun Blue Lagoon beautiful purple flower on that, absolutely stunning. And the uh, petals on that are much larger than most of the other uh, salvias like that. Uh, there's also some of the hummingbird falls and that's the other blue salvia in there. And this plant is really quite large. It's, it's over here and it goes all the way around over to here and that's all just one plant. And then this uh, geranium, I think that's the super moon dark red. Uh, that's one of her favorites because the blooms last a really long time. This planter over here, that peach one in the front is the uh, Superbina Peachy Keen. This thing has been blooming nonstop for her. The geranium in there is the Rosalie Antique Salmon. Uh, this one has been a constant bloomer too. Uh, usually the blooms are, bloom heads are a little bit bigger. You can see there's more coming. And then that's just one Senecio Angel Wings. And that is just a really fantastic, kind of has a soft silvery leaf really a nice easy plant. The orange one is a cross Sandra orange and that one's been a non-stop bloomer. It's kind of winding down for the season right now. Now over here this is two different uh, petunias that look very very similar. So uh, this is one that her dog has been peeing on so there's a little damage in there but you can't really tell the difference but one is the super tunia uh, persimmon and then the other is the uh, flower showers uh, Mayan sunset. And as far as the flowers go, it's really hard to tell the difference between those two. But you can see just constant flower coverage keeps going down and cascading out. These are great for baskets and containers. Both of them are. So I would recommend either one of those plants. But we were putting them side by side to see how they do. But the dog has kind of ruined our experience, experiment by uh, doing his business inside this container. Now this container is kind of on its way out, but this is the Main Street Ruby Road Coleus right there in the middle. That's been a really good performer for her. And then this one here is, oh, it's one of the Ball Coleus. I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it on the screen for you. Over here, this is the Portalaca, the, I think it's Mojave Yellow. Uh, these were planted pretty late and they're in a smaller container. They could probably use a little bigger container. Got a geranium. That might be another super moon. I'm not sure. Uh, over on this side, this is just one of the trailing Mizu or a Dorianthus. So you can see this one is kind of has succulent leaves and those little red pink flowers on it. And it's a nice trailing one, can take sun or shade. So that's a really versatile plant that's easy to take care of. You can also really neglect it. So if you kind of miss out and don't give it water for a while, it's absolutely fine. So when I told my sister I was going to come by today, she said, really, you came on the one time of the summer when my canna doesn't have tons and tons of blooms. She said she has not done any deadheading on this. And so this is what they look like when they're done, just kind of these, these kind of weird seed pods. But she does have more flowers coming. So she's going to continue to see these bright yellow flowers uh, for, for a while yet, at least until it starts getting really cold. And then there is some black-eyed Susan vine. That's the lemon appeal thumbergia. And that one's been really good. It's also kind of popping around the back over here. Uh, she said she had to kind of pull it back because it was starting to take over a little bit. So she kind of ripped some of it out. So she got some holes in the back that she kind of hid things with. Uh, she's got one of the begonias and I'm not sure which one that is. So I'll have to ask her about that. And then over here, this big, beautiful white begonia. This is the Surefire White. It was brand new this year, but look at how pure white those blooms are. They're absolutely just like bed sheet white with that beautiful yellow center in it. The waxy leaves, they're really a nice green color as well. This is a very, very nice begonia. Um, it's probably one of the nicest whites out there. And then over here we have some of the uh, land 
Tana, the Bandalista series. And this, she said, has been blooming nonstop. She has never deadheaded it. She has not touched it. And it's just been blooming yellow like that uh, for just so long. Here's one that she's not all that happy with, uh, just because the Dahlia is just getting in really rough shape. It's an extra large, I'm not sure which, I can't remember the name of the color, Mega something, can't really remember. And then it's got uh, a geranium in there. I think that's the Americana Cherry Red. And then some of the Cherry Archangel Angelonia in there, a couple other plants as well. That one's a little bit rough. This one is doing okay. Uh, she said a couple weeks ago it was absolutely stunning, uh, but it's kind of things have been starting to take over each other. So her canna, again, lots of uh, dead flowers on there, but there's still tons more coming. So this is all new blooms. So I bet if I came here next week, I'd see a completely different show on this. And then this is some of the Main Street Sunset Boulevard coleus here. That one's getting really quite large. And then down here, this peachy keen verbena, not as vigorous right now. She said it was really full for a really long time, but then suddenly the coleus has just started eating it alive. This is the Burgundy Wedding Train coleus here. She's also got some euphorbia tucked in there. This euphorbia is fighting back. It's not usually this big, but it's definitely doing its thing and it definitely wants to, to stick around. So this is her wall of misfit plants. These are all the plants that weren't doing well in the greenhouse that she kind of snuck out. So this is the hot plus lobelia still doing really well. This is some penstemon. I think it's flamingo something. Uh, but this, she said all the tall plants in here, the dog pees on all the time. Uh, this one here, oh, I'm trying to remember, is it the surprise or it's, oh, I'll have to put it on the screen. This is the uh, petunia that has different colors on it. So some of them are striped and solid. Uh, that's been a really fun one. And then some more petunias over here. Uh, her Angelonia are getting the, the dog action going on, so that's a little frustrating for her. And then, like over here, we have a classic bubblegum vista. This was our worst looking bubblegum vista, and it bounced right back, so that's always good news. And then over here, this is a Lophos. So if you haven't seen Lophos before, this is a really good example of it. You can see the bees are really loving it as well. And it's just a really nice trailing plant. This one here is, I think, the rose. So you can just see beautiful flowers on it, kind of trumpet-like flowers. This one here, I think, is the Flower Showers Mayan Sunset. That's been a really nice one. That's the one that's very similar to the Supertunia Persimmon. Here's her collection of neglected begonias. She said she does nothing with these. She doesn't deadhead them. She, she hardly waters them. They're in complete shade and they've been doing really well for her. So we have kind of a whole collection of some trailing, some upright, just a lot of different varieties in here. And then when we look over here, this petunia right here is lovey-dovey. It's super tunia lovey-dovey. Really nice one. Kind of got that beautiful star kind of painter quality in it as well. That's with a calliope violet. Uh, geranium and then this one on this side is the Patrick Steyer petunia I think it's a flower showers as well and both of these are doing well this side doesn't get very much sun at all this one only gets evening sun but it does uh, flower a lot more on the sunny side than it does on the shady side she would have normally been switching them all the time but it becomes such a heavy uh, planter that she hasn't been able to do that here we have amazing lantana action so this is the uh, bandolero lychee this one's been blooming really well i love the color on it as well and then this is more of the bandolista i think it's lemon and then i think this is the kufia i think this is honey bells and so the hummingbirds really love that one uh let's see this i think is a coral calliope uh geranium I think actually she's got a couple colors in here so she's got multiple colors in there and then, let's see, these got knocked around by the wind, uh, but she's got some begonias. And this, this is that pistachio traviscancha. So that's a beautiful plant there. More begonias. This here, uh, we've got a coleus in the center, and it's one of the Main Street series. Uh, there is a little bit of verbena popping out, but then this particular uh, sweet potato vine, that is the upside key lime, and that thing is so vigorous. I'll show you what it looks like from the other side. Incredible grower, uh, very, very, very vigorous and here she's got her kufia vermilionaire this one fell off the deck already once and broke in half and so this is what it looks like when it's halfway there she's got it tucked in with some lantana i think this one is the uh red blooded lantana and then is there anything else in there i think that is oh there's yeah so there's all that so that's always a fun one then over here <laughs> she's got some crazy action going uh she has this is the Color Blaze Elbrito coleus. Uh, she's got, a, I think that's a calliope geranium down here. 
She's got some of the Super Cal Premium Petunias. That one's just being kind of eaten alive by some of the other plants. Some more of that Lantana. But this is her Lemon Appeal Thumbergia or Black Eyed Susan Vine. She actually had to tear some of it out because it was just attacking all of her plants in here. So she tore it out. Thought maybe she may have killed it, but as you can see, it's all doing very, very well. In fact, there's a little bit peekabooing over there. Over here, this has been kind of moved around a lot, but that is one of the uh, salvias. It's rockin' fuchsia, and that thing just nonstop. And she, I think she had it paired with, yeah, she did have a violet geranium in there, but it got eaten up by everything. This is another vermilionaire, kufia. And then I think that's a secrecia there, the purple one. So this is just, this thing is huge. And it, they, these things just keep growing and growing for her. So she's had really good luck with those. But that salvia, that is just incredible. Speaking of incredible, over here, this is another salvia called Hummingbird Falls. She has one plant in here. So this is one plant, but look at this. It goes all the way around here, comes back around here, and then back to here. This thing has been huge and she does very, very little with it. She's got it with a begonia. She's got it with some skivola, but her skivola is looking a little rough. I don't know. Something's going on there. I don't think it maybe not getting enough sun. And then some angelonia. This is the angel face blue. This is uh, some geraniums that could use some cleaning. Uh, this is the, what is it called? The fire brocade geranium. So it gets those nice orange flowers. She's got some begonias in there too. Again, some more of the Main Street series of coleus. That's an intensia, which is not getting enough sun, uh, but when it was, it was covered in those bright red flowers. And then that is another upside sweet potato vine, but this one here is the black coffee. And then here, this one has also been kind of attacked with <laughs> a lot of bad weather, but this is another kufia called Sugar Bells. And the hummingbirds love this white one as much as they like the orange one. And you can see it gets really nice and full. This is the Bandalista coconut lantana. And then over here, it's not getting any sun, but her peppers are doing very, very well. That's an ornamental pe pepper that we had. Uh, so that's just really fun to see. Oh, I forgot. I didn't even notice over here, her uh, calibracoa are looking really great too. So I think that is a mango. Is it caltastic? I can't remember exactly which variety it is, but that's looking really fantastic as well.